Hello, I'm Kirsty. And I'm Louise. And today we're going to use our blog to think about the brain behind behaviour. We shared a post about looking beyond behaviour and understanding the brain and the nervous system of little people and it was really well received, so thanks for that. And we believe that understanding more about the brain, the nervous system and the neuroscience behind it can really empower parents to think about a complex idea around their children that also can be accessible. And we've seen this in workshops um, and training sessions that we've done, the sort of feedback and relief that people have got when they've been empowered with this knowledge to understand emotional regulation at a neuroscientific level, as opposed to really heavily relying on behavioural models such as consequences, ignoring um, rewards, that sort of thing. Um, people really report wanting to know more about this, which is great. And just like we would never want to ignore or punish physical pain, we think exactly the same about emotional pain and distress. So when our children are having a tantrum, when they're angry about something, when they're scared or sad, we want to be moving away from punishment and reward and thinking about alternatives. And ignoring a child who's in emotional distress is teaching them so little, if anything, other than you're not available to them to help them and we don't want children to learn this at any level. And therefore thinking about what we can do, we always recommend that your first job as a parent is to move to a point of comforting and being available for the child, getting down to their level physically and emotionally, being with them in their distress. And helping them name the feeling if, that's, if they seem sad, if they seem um, anxious, if they seem scared, helping them name that feeling at the time when it's happening is going to help the logical and the emotional brain link and that's real emotional resilience being able to do that. And once the emotional distress has been regulated, once the child has calmed down, is a point that you can then talk to the child about what happened and help them learn to move forward and to think about what they could do differently next time. It's also an opportunity if the behaviour's not been appropriate at that point, once you've connected emotionally with them, to think about how they can make things right. So thanks for watching and hope to see you next time. Bye.